Hello and welcome to our adv advanced trains guide for my test game. Uh, today we're going to learn about how to use ATC rails, the basic ones, not the lower ones. The lower ones are a bit too hard. Now here we are back in quite pretty much a retro world. It's good to see that the torches are back in order. The last time I checked, the torches are all unknown nodes. And yeah, they almost try to ruin the ruin the world. So here's the here's the first station. Let's see what the train needs to do uh, in the way before we get there. So first, you have the ATC controller at the station here. Well, it's as a static. So we have a lot of sections in this command. This section breaks the train to a stop. And it waits until the braking completes. Then it goes to the next one, opens the left door, waits for three seconds, closes the doors, and goes full speed. Now that part ain't complete, so let's take a look at this part because this one is complete. So it's the same command, bow, which I call it bow right now. All L D three O C S M, and we're off. So the next station is in sight over there. And before we reach the station, we have this block. We call it the brake rail. Uh, it has command B one S one, which means brake to speed one and run at one. One is the speed unit, which I think is in meters per second. And this block is placed around first somewhere around 35 blocks before the station block. So the station block is here. Usually if I'm coming in fast I will uh, I will place it one block before the platform ends. And you can earn 35 blocks and then place this rail. It may be a bit and the actual value may be a bit longer for straight tracks and a bit shorter for really curvy tracks. Now we're back. Called the CSM. Now let's continue through our two stations and see what a train should be doing at the end stations. And in a simple ATC system, the train should have end loops. I'm sorry, end, end loops. Oh, they're in the top. Torches are still not fixed. Oh yeah, I think the village torches. That's the torches place maybe works. Okay, so here's the other platform. our city of course I'm um, using MG villages here this is a really old world many things have changed and we re reach here first we open the doors on the right the doors always open in the direction indicated by the arrow uh, so this is uh, what we use as the end loop on cities the train goes around here and it descends to the top floor and then we break and go to the platform and then we can keep going so that's what an end loop looks like from over there. You have an end loop you can see from uh, that station over there. Which is called Inkle. Uh, which is uh, like the most compact type of end loop. Let me show you the other side. Uh, the end loops on the other one. Okay. So here we have our platform. And then we reach there. It's like this is one of the first sections. I think I'm using MG Villas towards this and uh, so here's what an end loop looks like. So the train departs here and then it curves around this loop and it comes back. Now this end loop is uh, kind of inactive. You can pretty much see better end loops down there. Now this is the old world, I'm not using this anymore. <laughs> Most of the torches, which are MG Village torches, have been switched to, to a no notes because uh, the MG Village torches are unusable. Okay, so let's get down there. Uh, we you can see an actual end loop. Trains pass through no notes. In fact, this is good. Let's fade and wood. And you can see the end loop and works over there. Here, the train curves. It starts at this platform, goes around the end loop, parks at the platform, and departs. Can't, you can't go through it, no notes. 
Okay. So it's kind of the same. Oh, the train comes. Kind of the same thing. Right, so it's this structure that the train runs around and lets it turn around. So when you have two rails like this, you uh, go like this, or four blocks, and then turn around. And it will go right around, and you can merge it back the same way. It's pretty much symmetric. And so here's the simple guide to how to use the uh, normal ATC rails. In my other world, we have lower ATC rails, which is m much better at keeping the trains in sync. Right now, you can see that the trains are uh, departing and arriving like perfectly. And this system has worked before. Before we did the transition to ATC, the uh, lower ATC rails. One of the minuses of this system is that it does not allow for uh, station names to be printed on the train. But that's, that's not a very important thing anyway. So by the way, uh, goodbye everyone, and we'll see you again next time. Get off to the next station. Oh my god, the torches ruin everything now. <laughs>